Hello everyone, this is Android Tutorial 4. This is pretty much the same as the last one, uh, with a few differences, and I will start the program and show you those now. So as you can see, this looks pretty much the same as Tutorial 3, but when you do that, you've got uh, a picture, which is the default Android icon, and some color, actually three of them. You've got the text colored, you've got the background of the text colored, and the background of the whole row colored. And as you can see, the list works pretty much the same. So now let's go over what changed. So we've got, as before, uh, our Java tutorial.4 Java file. But now over here you can see we've got a custom list item XML in addition to our main XML and an icon.png. And let's open the main. As you can see the main is the same as before. Our custom list item is just a linear layout with an image view and text view and our tutorial for uh, dot Java class. So you can see at the top we've moved the no list uh, note list array list string up to the top. We've kept, kept it as final. We want to keep it as a final uh, because that actually improves the uh, array speed and the uh, overall speed of Java when you declare things final. We don't need to ever be able to redeclare that uh, particular variable. And as you can see down here, uh, it's pretty much the same for the beginning until we get to this call, which is our array adapter. And all we're doing is we're using one of the different constructors available to this array adapter. We are calling uh, a layout and then within that layout, an ID. So the layout is the custom list item, which is the XML file that we just looked at. And the uh, item, or the ID rather, is the note list. Uh, everything else is the same. And all that does is then cause us to use this layout to overwrite the default layout we were using in tutorial three. And in particular, you can see the text view has an ID of note text and it's got two colors. And then the linear layout also has a color. And that's where our three colors came from. And then our image view is where the icon comes from. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this and we'll have the next one for you in a little bit.